Golden crackle paste develops deep fissure-like cracks as it dries. Designed for use on prepared rigid supports, it can be used alone or blended up to 10 parts. Crackle paste to one part paint or gel with minimal reduction in cracking pattern. You have to apply it at least an eighth of an inch thick for noticeable cracking patterns. Paint and other products may be thinly applied while wet for aged fresco-like applications. Washes and glazes of color may be applied before or after drying. You seal it with acrylic mediums to reduce loss of chips, crumbling, or to reduce dust and grime. This product will yellow as it ages, so it may be necessary to add titanium white or seal and varnish with UVLS if this is a concern for intended use. This is golden fiber paste, a flexible surface with the look of rough handmade paper that is ideal as a ground or texture. Create paper-like surfaces on either canvas or board. When dry, the off-white color is very absorbent, making it ideal for use with acrylic washes. As a texture, the paste can be skimmed with a wet palette knife for a smooth surface or applied unevenly for peaks and valleys. For a collage element or alternate effect, consider using fiber paste with stencils to create shaped paper-like surfaces. Here we have some golden glass bead gel. It's a clear textural gel made with genuine glass beads, offering a unique reflective quality. I spread the untinted gel evenly over, you can spread it um, over an image or color, and this is where colors add a dimensional texture, as you can see the shine. The light play generated by the beads increases the richness and reflectance of iridescent or transparent colors. You can mix with opaque color for a grainy sand-like appearance. Light molding paste was developed as an alternative to the weight of molding paste. It's lighter in weight, but it has some very unique qualities. It looks like vanilla cake frosting when scooped out of the jar. Uh, it's an, also an amazing absorbent ground. Here I've painted uh, with fluids thinned with water in a watercolor technique. Coarse pumice gel is simply a mixture of clean pumice, which is sand, and a thick gel. Uh, we can mix for better adhesion with a little bit of matte gel, or prime the fir per surface first with Palmer matte or gloss medium. Here you can see the pumice gel was applied without color and then painted on top with thin acrylic paint. Here we have golden coarse molding paste. It's a thick, warm white colored medium that's translucent when spread thinly. With a tooth-like fine sandpaper, this paste works great for color washes with fluid acrylic colors or as a ground for drawing media. Use it to build surfaces or spread very thinly for unique translucent frost-like appearance. A subtle crystalline property in the surface reflects the light, enhancing the effect of color on the surface.